Up first, eight people continue to recover after a Greyhound bus that they were traveling in pulled out in front of another car this morning. Here's where it happened, West County Road 127. It happened right by a pilot truck stop in that area. Christina Burgess is on the story tonight. Christina, what else can you tell us? Well, yeah, Tatum, Texas DPS describes today's scene as chaotic and hectic when they arrived at West County Road 127, where this bus and car collided. Glass broken on the ground is what's left behind from this morning's accident involving a Greyhound bus and a Nissan. The uh, Greyhound bus was struck at the uh, front left quarter panel. A collision that happened after the Greyhound bus failed to yield the right of way when leaving this pilot truck stop. According to DPS, when Midland Fire, EMS, and DPS arrived on the scene, it was in a disarray. The scene was very chaotic, very hectic, trying to trying to investigate the scene. We have 28 passengers on the bus, but um, our troopers got that scene worked and uh, without incident. So every, everything's completed on that. From the 28 passengers on the bus, six were taken to Midland Memorial Hospital along with the bus driver and the driver of the Nissan. DPS will continue investigating this crash. The uh, crash report will be completed, and um, if there are any charges filed from this crash, that will also be um, done at that time. So those, those are the two pending things that we're still waiting to do to complete. With accidents like today's, DPS warns drivers of taking it easy on the roads. Just remind our drivers out there to, to take their time in the morning. Uh, school just started, so we have a lot of traffic back out on the roadways. Now, all eight individuals who were taken to the hospital are all in stable condition at this time. Back to you.